Hello lovely people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch another YouTube video. And if you're new on this channel, if you're seeing my face for the first time, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Isiwoma and I'm a wife and mom of two boys based in Lagos State, Nigeria. I put out faith-based lifestyle content on this channel and I throw in a few DIYs because I'm someone that likes to try out new things. So thank you very much for coming over on the channel. Please join the family by clicking on the subscribe button down below and you get to um, be notified about videos I put out whenever I put out new videos. Yes, thank you so much. So today's video um, is officially the first video in the year 2022. Happy New Year! Happy New Year to you all. Happy New Year. Yes, Happy New Year. I know today is already the end of January has already ended. Yes, but I have to make this video. So 2021 was a beautiful year. God showed us so much mercy. God was kind and gracious to me and my household. And I believe God was kind and gracious to each and every one of us. Everybody has a testimony. Everybody has a testimony. The fact that you are alive is a testimony. The fact that you can see me right now is a testimony. So we are grateful. We're grateful people. I know there are things that you, you might have expected in the year 2021 that didn't come through. There's still time. God is still God. And God will bring everything to pass in his own time. So something that I did in the year 2021 by the grace of God and by the help of God that really transformed my life is Bible study. Before the year 2021, I usually study my Bible in bits and in pieces. And um, there are some days that I'm not able to, you know, as, like, as I got married, got pregnant, started having babies, you know, somehow, somehow it kind of affected my spiritual growth. Like the times I would really spend in studying God's word, in reading books and trying to build my faith. I, I, I was struggling. Yes, I would say I was struggling. I was trying to keep up and it wasn't easy. And then I asked God to help me. I handed over, you know, my trying to make things right, make things work. I handed it over to God and asked God to help me. So in the year 2021, it was a year of Bible study. It was a year of intentionality and God really helped me. There were days that I missed um, Bible study, but I was intentional about it, so I would always try to meet up to catch up because I realized that I can't do anything of my own strength. Yes, I needed God's strength. And how do you get God's strength? God has placed a lot of examples in his word for us, you know, a lot of encouraging stories about things that happened in the time of the apostles in the Old Testament, things that we can draw strength from, that we can draw wisdom from. You know, people would always say, ah, God doesn't speak to me. I'm waiting to hear God say, oh, ho, oh, oh, my daughter, my son, this is the way that you should go. Meanwhile, God has put his will in his word. So it's just for us to get into the word, get to know more about God's word, study God's word, know more about his personality and know more about what, you know, how he taught people, how people walked with God in the past. You have a part to play, which is beholding God's word. So as you behold the word of God, you are being transformed. You're being changed from glory to glory. So there is a part of beholding. So what are you beholding? So I was reading, I, I really told God that I want to be intentional about beholding his word so I can become more and more like him. And that is what the Holy Spirit helped me to do in the year 2021 i was able to read the entire bible for the very first time in my life you know before now i've been reading maybe i'll read the new testament finish it the old Testament. i have never finished the old testament in my entire life i have never so in the year 2021 by the help of god's spirit by intentionality by his grace and his mercy i was able to finish the entire bible and it was life transforming because there are a lot of stories that I've heard, you know, maybe from sermons, from preaching, I have never read it myself in the scriptures. I know, yes, the scripture exists. I've heard people quote it. I've known quotes the scriptures with people, but I've never really like, okay, open, where is it found in the Bible, you know, and all of that. The year 2021, I was intentional about Bible study and it was really a life transforming experience. And I am doing the same this year, 2022, by the help of the Holy Spirit. God's instruction to us in Joshua 1, it is that we should study God's word day and night, meditate on it. Yes, the more we study God's word, the more we look at God's word, the more we are transformed, our mind is renewed. We begin to see things the God way, not the humanly speaking kind of way, not the human sense kind of way. So yes, in this year 2022, I'm all for studying of God's word. I'm all for spiritual growth, yes, and I'm inviting you on this journey with me. So what helped me in the year 2021 was I came across a um, one-year Bible plan on the YouVersion app. I'll paste it on the screen. 
yes you can go on version. you know check for um there are a lot of bible plans so whichever one works for you but i would share the one that i worked with because um it was written by pastor um nikki and um what's his wife's name pipa yes pastor nikki and pipa gombel I don't know if I pronounce that sounding well, but Gumbel Shah. Yes, I'll place the um, details. So what there is always a commentary, you know, a commentary at the beginning of the plan, and then you have um, an, an Old Testament um, section to read, read from the Psalms, and then the New Testament section. So that's how the kind of structure these people have done this work for us. They kind of structure it out so each day there is something to read. Yes. Not a single uh, chapter I do. Like in-depth study, you have to, it's it's a Bible study. So yes, you go with your pen and your paper. And you know the thing about, the thing about studying God's word, expecting to hear from God. God is speaking to us through his word. So there are things that will jump right at you from the word. That's how it happens to me. I don't know about anybody else. And then it resonates so much, so strongly with my spirit that I have to note it down and write it down and think on it and meditate on it throughout my day and i began to see that the holy spirit was working in me there are areas of my life where i was not doing so well where i was having issues with being patient i used to be a, a very impatient person um but i i saw i saw the work that the holy spirit did in my life in the year 2021 and that's why i am spurred on to do this again in this year 2022 so this is the official video of me inviting you to join me on this journey is not too late. It's not too late. It is not too late. Let's be intentional about our spiritual growth because we are first spirits. Yes, we are spirits that are dwelling in this body. So there is there is a life after here. So it is wisdom to invest in that spiritual life, a spirit that doesn't die. It is wisdom to invest in your life. So with all the busyness, all the craziness of life, trying to you know put things together, trying, if you can just get it right spiritually, then. You wouldn't have to i wouldn't say there wouldn't be challenges there will be challenges of course there will be obstacles but then you have you are at peace because you know the one that is backing you because you know who whose foundation you're on we're building on the foundation christ christ is the rock and our foundation the foundation of every area of our lives is on christ who is the rock so yeah so this is me inviting you this video nothing major nothing serious just to tell you guys happy new year and i am back by the grace of god to put our content on this channel this is the year of intentionality yes yeah, this is the year of spiritual growth please join this family click on the subscribe button and let's go on this journey together and i'll see you in my next video bye for now